We've all been told that we need to meditate, but none of us actually do it. I've tried it, and you have probably too, but most of us have no idea how to actually do it. So I'm going to try it for 30 days and let you know how I get on. But the purpose of this video is to tell you what I found out recently, because I didn't know actually how to meditate. I'd seen those apps that you download and they're like guided meditation, like listen to this, imagine this, imagine you're on a beach and so on. And they didn't really work for me. And they're not the purpose of meditation anyway. The point is and why I'm doing it is to build resilience and focus. So basically I can earn more money through work because I've learned that actually when you meditate, if you take out some time of your day, it makes your working hours more productive and you're more focused. So if you work for say seven hours a day, that'd be the equivalent to more like 12 or even 14 hours because you're focused on the task and there's no distractions because you can control those thoughts. So how do you actually go about doing meditation? Well, it's pretty simple. And here's some things that I've learned. So you set a timer on your phone and I'm going for 20 minutes a day and that's advised. You should, in theory, work up to the 20 minutes. You shouldn't jump straight in. You should go five minutes for maybe a week or so, knock that up to 10 minutes the second week and then build up from there because it's just like anything. It's like when you go out running, you can get injured if you increase more than 10% per week. It's the same thing with meditation. You're going to get some negative reactions at first, but I'm still going to do it because I've tried it before and I think 20 minutes is fine. I'm just going to do it. You never know, in a few days I might tell you that actually it's not the best idea because I started this yesterday and here's one thing I learned. So I sat down by the bed and leant back on it and I did my 20 minutes and no word of a lie, after about, what's just flipped it there? After about, <laughs> um, yeah, after about 15 minutes, I started to feel like I was going into a deep, like trance like state, almost like I was going into sleep. But I was still focusing, I was still aware, and I was still trying to control these outside thoughts. Anyway, after the 20 minutes had done, I thought, great, I've done it. I can get on with work now, I can make a start. I got changed and I was sitting at my desk and I just felt so groggy. I felt like I needed to sleep. So I did. I worked for an hour and a half in this sort of weird trance like state. I looked it up, asked ChatGPT and it said, no, it's fine. Go out for a jog to just try and wake your body up. So then because I couldn't focus any more than that hour and a half at work, I went into the lounge and I had a nap for about an hour. And then I found out after that when you meditate, you should actually be upright and you shouldn't be leaning on something because if you're leaning on something like half your body's rested and that your body or your mind tricks yourself into thinking that you're asleep. So all I do now, well, I say now since this morning is sit on the ed edge of my desk chair upright, close my eyes and just now what do I do? <laughs> so I'm upright. My meditation is simply just to close my eyes and try and block out distracting thoughts. So I don't use any apps. It's just sit in silence and block those thoughts and think about nothing. So it's natural for things to pop into your mind, like, I don't know, things that you've got to do for the day or worries that you've got. And you try to build up this resistance of saying no. So if it comes into your mind, you're like ping, 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 ping. And you're trying to control, you, you acknowledge that it's come into your brain and then you're like, yep, I can feel it, push it away, focus on nothing. And that nothing is not entirely true. It is actually just focusing on your breath. So close your mouth, breathe in and out, gently through your nose, and just trying to focus on the sensation of the breath coming into your nose, into your lungs, relax, and then out again. Just focusing on that as much as you can for the 20 minutes, then that's going to build up the focus and the resilience. Because when you go into work or whatever you're doing, if you get those same thoughts come up, you can't focus. So you're just building the resilience to say no. 
that is basically it. And the timer goes off after 20 minutes. And apparently you're not supposed to see any benefits for like if you, even if you do it for a week, you should try it for at least 30 days. And that's when the benefit comes about. So what I've done is use the reminders app on my iPhone to set a reminder that runs every day at 10 a.m. for me. Um, and then that's when I do it, the 20 minutes. That can fluctuate. So depending on what's going on in the house, uh, some t what I do, my routine is get up, say like 10 to 7-ish, and then I'll get out, do some exercise, come back, have a shower, and then that's usually my time for meditation. However, my partner can still be in the house and sometimes she doesn't leave till 10 and I prefer to do it in silence when she's gone. So sometimes I move it to 10 o'clock. So yeah, I will let you know in 30 days if I see any benefits. But yeah, I'm optimistic. Hope that helps and make sure you subscribe to the channel because it's growing and it's good to know that you're liking the video. So Thanks, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.